Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today, we are going to be turning dockers, like regular dockers or khakis, into a cargo mini skirt. I am going to be teaching you guys how to put cargo pockets pretty much on anything, but I'm using this project as a way to teach that. All right, let's do it. So I just have a plain pair of dockers that I thrifted. I wanted a strong cotton for this instead of like a men's dress pants. So I tried them on and I marked where I wanna cut it off as a skirt. I have done a tutorial on how to turn pants into a skirt before, so I am not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. I'll link it right here, but I'll show you, you know, nonetheless, if you could follow along. We're gonna add cargo pockets, one on each side to make this super cool and edgy. We have all of this fabric left to make cargo pockets. And of course, you could keep them as shorts and make cargo shorts. So we just want to open up this seam. I was trying to seam rip and went too far. But at any rate, I'm gonna cut the side of this seam up towards the fly and then stop. And then you just overlap it and sew it down. And you do the back the same way. You're definitely going to want to see the review of the two new sewing machines that I'm using. I'm using two Janome like beginner sewing machines. I am impressed. I've tried those little cheap sewing machines before. I got what I expected, but this was so much more than what I expected. All right, we're going to go double fold him. Going over them layers like butter. Seams are consistent. Look at that. Just needs to be pressed. Here's the skirt. All donezo. Super cute even by itself. And now I'm gonna take one of the leg pieces and I'm gonna cut a six inch by eight inch piece rectangle. And I need two layers, so that's why I'm just gonna cut it on one of the legs. Okay. So I think that's about the right size. It is seven and three quarters by six. So I meant for it to be eight, but we didn't get eight because I didn't cut it square. We also are going to cut a strip, two strips that are two inches wide. I'm gonna take the hem out so that these are long enough. They just need to be long enough to go all around the edge plus be hemmed, but I should have enough because we're actually gonna hem this edge, top edge as well. All right, let's make a pocket. The first thing we want to do is quite a bit of ironing. We're gonna fold down the top so that we have six and a quarter left over. Now these measurements are arbitrary. So like if you, yours is not exactly like mine, it doesn't matter, you can make your pockets whatever size you like. And then we're gonna add another little fold in here. This is like a mid-weight interfacing. And I'm just gonna add a little piece. You don't have to do this, but I saw someone do it, so I'm gonna do it just <laughs> to make sure this turns out as good as possible. Well, you put the shiny side down. This is a fusible interfacing, which means it's ironable. You never wanna iron on that shiny side because you'll have all of that residue on your iron. We're gonna put that in between the seam, and now this piece is ready. Now, we also wanna take our little strip and double fold, iron it on one side. Then we're gonna go top stitch this down or hem it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and sew this edge on, but first we want to iron down the opposite side that we're about to sew. So if we're gonna sew this side, we wanna just a single fold iron down on the opposite side. Whatever seam allowance you're using, you know, try to be a little bit consistent with it. So once we have that whole edge ironed, we wanna take this and fold it the opposite direction and we're going to place this good side to good side right along that fold edge and fold it over. And then we're gonna go to our sewing machine and sew this edge down, making our seam allowance consistent all the way down. When we get to within that same seam allowance from the end, we're gonna clip this layer 
just clip at the corner, put the needle down, and then turn that corner. We'll sew the bottom, same seam allowance, and then when we get to the other corner, we'll also, at a 45 degree angle, clip that corner a tiny bit less than the amount of the seam allowance, and then we'll turn again. Once we get to within about two inches from that last fold, we're going to go ahead and cut off the excess and double fold him this side so that it's the correct length to line up with the fold. We'll sew that edge down, sandwich it inside the fold, and then finish that seam to the top of the pocket. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. If you didn't know, we're in the middle of creating this like capsule wardrobe for spring of upcycled pieces. I'll show you my visual video mood board right here. You can go and watch that where I react to spring runway shows and share with you what I'm gonna be making. So I am so excited about what there is to come. We have a couple pieces we've already done. There is a playlist, I'll link it right here, but you don't want to miss it so definitely hit the subscribe button and let's get back to the tutorial all right here we go we want to go ahead and cut off the corners of course don't cut your seam but just cut the corners so that when you turn this right side out you won't have a bulky corner all right now we can turn it right side out we have nice crisp everything we definitely got want to go ahead and fold that back and iron it that's going to be important later so now we're gonna turn everything right side out and now we can sew and top stitch the pocket fold down. All right, so now we have our pocket seam. You see it's nice and crisp. And we are going to turn it in and I'm gonna iron just because I have it here. I guess I should probably always set this up. Then maybe I wouldn't have such an issue with ironing. Make sure you pop those corners out really sharp. I'm just gonna iron just so that when I top stitch this, I can just make sure everything is nice and crisp. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a top stitch all around the edge. We're gonna sew from the top of the pocket down one edge. We are going to make sure that the pocket is flipped outside while we're doing that. Once we get to that edge, we'll put the needle down and flip the pocket under and to the side that we just sewed, and then continue on sewing the bottom. Make sure the pocket is turned out the direction that we're going. Get to the corner, put the needle down, turn, and then flip the pocket to the direction that we we're just coming from. And then we can go ahead and finish the rest of that last edge. Show those seams up. So we are going to fold our corner seams so they lay nice and flat while we're trying to sew, or so that they lay nice and flat once the pocket is on the garment. Now we are ready. You can see that I have one pocket on because I wanted to make sure that I do this right for you guys. So you want to put your pocket, lay it where you want it to be, and then I'm going to trace it. You also want to put like little marks to the side. That's going to be important at the beginning and at the corners. That's going to show you where you need to turn. So you can see I put that one down because we're going to go so this way, turn, so that way, and then go that way. So that one needs to go down that direction. But I am just going to lightly trace the pocket. All right, we're all set. So now, now we're going to take it to the sewing machine and where our edges are folded, that's why we ironed them ahead of time. We're going to place them right against that edge and just do a top stitch all along till we get to the corner, just like we did before. When we get to the corner, we're gonna put the needle down, turn, and we're not worried about that like kind of fold that we iron. We're not worried about that right now. Turn it, sew the bottom edge, turn again, and sew the last side. Then once that is done, we are going to go ahead and fold the top of our pocket flat. We're gonna top stitch and back stitch on each side to make sure the top of the pocket stays closed while the bottom has room for whatever we want to put in there. Let's see if it's big enough for a phone. Voila, it is perfect. 
All right, so our finished pockets are five and a half inches wide. So we are going to make some flaps for them. I only want them to be three inches, so that makes, I'll just do three and three quarters. All right, so now I want a little angle on the edge. So I'm gonna fold it in half and So we should have four layers. I have two. Boo. All right, two layers. And what we're gonna do is turn them right side out and sew them along these edges. All right, so we have our two little flaps and we wanna cut off the corners and then we wanna turn it right side out. And then we're going to go and sew the edge. Top stitch the edge. All right, so we are getting ready to add these pockets on. There is something I wish I had done while we were doing the pockets, but it's gonna be a simple fix. I don't think we need this much at the top, so we'll cut off some, but that's going there. We have two six inch pieces to go at the top. And just like last video, we'll burn the edges. And then these can be whatever length you want. And you'll also want to finish the edges on these too. If you are not going to burn them, then you can go ahead and fold it, double fold it, and sew the edge. So we wanna make sure that this flat side is up and we're going to thread this six inch piece through the middle and back up the top, making sure the ends are even. And then we're going to sew it in as we sew in the pocket. What I should have done is when we were sewing it in, I should have sewn in this, but we're just gonna go open this stitch back up and slip this in right in the middle and it'll be for this pocket and we'll do it on the other side as well. I'm just gonna place it against the pocket, stitch it across. Of course, we're gonna make sure we put this inside. And actually what I'm gonna do just to make sure it's in the middle, I'm going to pin it. Now we're gonna lay it flat against the pocket, centered, and we're gonna sew it across, making sure to backstitch at the ends. Then we'll fold it over, right, at that stitch, and then we'll top stitch. We'll also open up this stitch right here, insert this, and then sew it back close. And we'll be done. All right, so here we go. Finished up our pockets, need to cut some threads. And we lace it just like we did before to the middle. Don't wanna pull it too tight because then it's gonna deform your pockets. And then we'll pull it through the very front one. You can also use this to make a belt just like our inspiration, but we're done. All right, we are done. And I will say, yes, that was a little bit more complicated than just adding pockets. Last week, we just added like side pockets in the side seams of garments. That, to me, is super, super easy. This was a little bit more complicated, a few more steps. But after you've done it a couple of times, like it's gonna be good and i will tell you this is the very first time i've done anything like this so yeah i know that if i can do it you guys can do it and i'm here to help so i in my head have something from our spring one way trends video that i want to pair with this skirt but i didn't have enough time to create it for this particular final look so we are going all black today baby <music> Yes! 
yes, I very rarely do all black, but you guys do know about me that I always love to pair something more feminine with something like tough and um, edgy or rugged, something like that. I like that contrast. So my daughter told me as soon as she saw the skirt, she was like, you should pair it with that lace blazer. And I'm just like, the lace blazer? And it came together perfectly. So she knew what she was talking about. And I followed her direction this time. I think it came out well. I know on TikTok, I gave you guys a couple options. If you wanted to see what else I was thinking about pairing it with, definitely check out my reel or my TikTok. I put them on both Instagram and TikTok uh, to see what other jacket I was thinking about. But I, you will see what I really want to pair this with um, in a couple weeks when I make it. So, and of course, there'll be a tutorial. Yes, there'll be a tutorial. So yeah, I am loving this skirt. Now my legs are like super long and so I like underestimate how short things can be on me sometimes but biker shorts and keep it moving that's what we gonna do and we gotta keep it moving so yes let me know in the comments if you like this if you're thinking about making it and what variation you're thinking about making I love to read you guys comments about how you're going to make it and how you're going to change it to suit you love 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 it so I want to see that and definitely we have other videos for you guys right here make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next one all right bye